at the beginning of the year. It is usually a custom for people to make resolutions and set goals on what they intend to achieve that year. But a few months down the lane, a lot of people abandoned their resolutions while some would fail to meet their goals. To examine why resolutions don't become realities for some, I'm joined by Step Red, a career and life coach. Thank you for joining me on News on the Hour, Step thank Red. You, thank you. And Happy New Year to you. Same to you. Great. So let's get into it. Why is it so much um, important for people to make New Year resolutions or set goals for the New Year? Okay, so New Year is setting, New Year, setting New Year resolutions and setting goals are actually two different things, okay. right? So first of all, you have resolutions pretty much being you just be having a firm resolve to do something, being resolute about doing something. Yes. But then being resolute is not just about saying it, right? Because a lot of times people say, I am not going to, or I am going to do that, this, that, and the other. But I believe that um, what makes it different from goals is that goals, you're actually taking intentional steps. Yes. But it's very important, however, that you step into the year to do that so that you don't just live carefreely. So you are intentional with why you, while you're working through the year, you're intentional with how you commit yourself, how you exert yourself. Okay. Because a lot of times by December, people look back and you want to ask yourself, what have I really done? What have I really achieved? Yes. So it's quite important that we don't get to the end of the year and then we're wishing we did things differently. To ensure that we don't get to that spot, it's important that we set goals. And resolutions. Why do we have to wait for the beginning of a new year to have resolutions? I mean. and, okay. I, can't quite know, can't quite say exactly where yes. that thing came from. Where it has to be at the beginning of the year, you know, they're just this ginger. Yeah, that's that's my that's my that's my hula baloo with that. Does <laughs> it always have to be at the beginning of the year? I okay, mean, I make resolutions like on different aspects of situations yes. in my life, almost on a daily basis. You know, it doesn't have to be resolve. at the beginning of yes. the year. I guess probably people just face it with the mind of okay, the last year is off. off shut the door this is a new beginning so january 1st is a new beginning you start new beginnings with new new outcomes or new new ways of committing yourself new right? mindsets new mindsets new perspectives yeah. right and they just feel to get to face this perspective let's set a resolution so i say i am not going to uh, sleep later than seven. I am not going to. I am not going to eat a bar after seven p.m. I am not going to whatever it is. So, pretty much, I guess that's why people just start. Well, let's talk, talk about let's about goals and realistic goals. I mean, why do you think for most of the time when people set goals, they don't necessarily set a course of action to achieving those goals? And I could just set. A, I could have a plan for myself at the beginning of the year. Yeah. I could have a goal I want to achieve. Um, it's as important as it's not as important as the course of action I want to mm. take to the fulfillment of that goals. So why do we oftentimes have people who have planned, set goals, yeah. but they, they barely achieve those goals? Okay, so let me start from resolutions. Again, yeah. there is nothing wrong with making resolutions. What is wrong is not setting tactical actions, putting tactical actions, actions. in place yeah. to achieve it. So pretty much when we say, which now comes to setting goals. So what goal setting does, it's not just saying, I want to do this, but it's actually, goal setting actually starts with envisioning. <laughs> You pretty much have to have an, a picture of what you want to become okay. in your mind's eyes. So that is what you are working towards. So you set a goal to say, I want to achieve this, that, and the other, of which you have seen it. Because how do you want to become or be or achieve something that you do not have an idea what it will look like? So yeah. how will you know how close you are to it, how far away you are from it, how much more you need to do to achieve it? So pretty much you have a picture, mental picture of what you want to achieve, and then begin to set action steps. Between this and this, I'm going to have to do this, I'm going to have to do that, and then make sure it's smart. So the idea of it being smart is that you pretty much have to check whether you're not overstretching yourself or whether you're not setting a goal that is irrealistic. So it, it has to be measurable. It has to be. It has to be measurable. It and has performance. To be, yes. Yeah. And it has to be, okay, so you, know, you don't just say, I want to... I want to give me an idea of something that you made a really uh, Yeah, yeah, I want, I, want, I want to lose some weight at the you gym. You want to I'm lose to some to weight. That's yeah. always, I was trying not to go there because that's pretty much, <laughs> you know, that's pretty much, yeah. So I want to lose weight, but I, I just want to lose weight in 20 years. Yeah. yeah. So when? So we, it has to be specific. Yeah. It has to have a timeline so that you know, oh, I want to lose weight by May 15th. So you have five months or maybe like four and a half months yeah. to work. So what do you need to do daily, weekly, monthly to ensure that by May 15th you achieve it? 
so what, a lot of times we just leave it, it's just there, it's just hanging in the air. Mm. And uh, sometimes I'm like, ah, I've just eaten that egg by nine o'clock. Oh my goodness, I was supposed to be, okay, let me push it till tomorrow. But because there's no timeline, because there's no specificity to say, okay, by this time, I would have achieved my weight. And to do that, I need to start. You need to, starting from the beginning, I need to not do this, I need to not do that, I need to do this, I need to do that. So you're more intentional, you're more purposeful. That's what makes goal setting different. Right. But people fall along the line because they don't do these things. They just say it and they don't act on it. Great. When does a goal become unrealistic? When, when, are, when are the per per parameters you see in place so you know this goal is unrealistic? Uh, let's use weight loss. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> so um, someone wants to lose 20 kg and you say, I want to lose 20 kg in two weeks. Okay, is it possible? <laughs> To lose 20 kg in two weeks is it is it healthy is it realistic is it possible so these are the things you need to check okay how much if i need to do 20 kg in two weeks that means i need to lose 10 kg in one week that means i need to lose so 10 kg divided by seven i need to lose like uh one point something kg per, per day so that means that it's now thing of is it healthy to lose is it healthy to lose weight that way what are the side effects? Yeah. So, so at the end of the day, you check the indices to say, okay, are there side effects? Is it realistic? And is it sustainable? So asking all these questions, also asking such questions like, why is this goal important to me? Why do I really yeah. want to achieve this goal? Yes. What, will, what will happen if I don't achieve it? What will I lose or what will I gain if I do not achieve it? So we're actually checking to ensure that the goals that we're setting for ourselves are not self-imposed, rather other imposed goals where, oh, I see someone doing it, so it just looks I appeasing. Want to do it too. Yes, I want to do it too. And then you jump into it and find out, okay, it's not for me. And then, you know, at the end of the year, you find out you've actually chased after someone someone else's perspective or vision, and you actually do not have it. All right, quickly, with the many time we have, pitfalls people should watch out for to achieving and not achieving their goals for, for mm -hmm. the brand new year. Things they should watch out for, things they should avoid, and things yeah. they must do. Yeah, okay, so for setting goals, for being, first things, you need to know exactly what you want to achieve and what the purpose is, like what your purpose is. So what is that thing you're chasing after and how much does it mean to you? So based on that, you're setting goals to ensure that you are, it's in line with your purpose, it's in line with what you want to achieve, it's in line with what you want to be known for, it's in line with who you want to become and what you want to be remembered for. Mm. So in setting those goals, just like everything I just said now, make sure that it is, it is measurable, it is specific, it has a timeline and that you're committing yourself so it doesn't just happen. Success and greatness and whatever it is doesn't just come overnight. It comes by daily intentional steps and intentional actions. So committing yourself to whatever it's going to bring, whatever wind is going to blow, whatever fire, whatever storm is going to come, committing yourself to the process. So it takes commitment. It takes resilience. It takes absolute res resolution, I beg your pardon, to say, I'm going to achieve this in spite. So whatever comes, whatever goes, whatever doesn't give, I'm not going to give up until I win, up until I achieve my goal.